Hello everyone and welcome to Keto Cooking with Wendy. On this channel I like cooking simple, easy, delicious, wholesome foods that are ketogenic and low carb, keto -vore, and all the rest. So you guys, I was looking through my cupboard and I don't know if you are like Harry and I are, but we have canned staples. We have a whole cupboard full of canned staples that we have to rotate on a regular basis. And one of the staples that we keep at all times is Spam. Yes, indeed, Spam, because it's shelf stable. And you know what? You can grab and go, you can eat it, it's already cooked, you can cook it, you can do a lot of things with it. I know some of you guys are going, Spam. And I'm saying yes, in this day and age of the rising prices and everything, if you have shelf staples such as Spam and you need to make something delicious and nutritious, easy to make, recipe and you need to use your shelf stabled items then this recipe is for you. So I'm going to use the low sodium spam that was in my cupboard that's going to be expiring in a few months so I want to start using it and I thought you know what I'm going to make a four ingredient delicious casserole for everybody. Now this is going to have spam, alfredo sauce, cauliflower florets, and eight ounces of cheddar cheese. This is 16 ounce cauliflower bag and this is a um, one pound jar, 16.9 ounces. I may or may not use the whole thing and we'll measure it as we go to make sure. And the Spam. I have a pan of boiling water ready to boil my uh, cauliflower florets. So I'm gonna get them started because I want them nice, soft, and tender. I'm just gonna get these started here. Now, with the Spam, it's already cooked. But what I like to do with Spam is I wanna take it out of the container, I wanna cube it, and I wanna toss it until it gets a little golden brown. I like the taste and texture of it when it's cooked better than when it's not, but it's up to you. You can use it straight out of the can. If you don't have Spam, you can use the turkey Spam, you can use canned turkey, you can use a ham, ham pieces too. You can use bacon. So you think outside of the box when you're making this because you can use other meats instead. But I have canned Spam in my emergency cupboard that needs to be eaten and I don't waste any food if I can help it. So let's get started. I'm going to need Harry to open this up and we'll come back when I've cubed the Spam. I looked at the bag of cauliflower in the pan and I think I need more. So I have a 12 ounce and a 16 ounce bag. So I'm going to put this one in as well because I'm thinking I need more cauliflower. It just doesn't look like it's going to be enough, you guys. So I'm going to put it in. You can do cauliflower and broccoli mix too. That looks better to me. Let me stir that up. That one on there bottom so that it's totally frozen. And I'm going to put a little bit more water in there now. Then bring that up to a boil and let that get soft. Okay, that's better you guys. It just wasn't enough cauliflower. Uh, probably a large head of cauliflower would work really well. I happen to have frozen cauliflower. So we'll see how much I need of this. Hopefully we can use it all. If not, I'll have leftovers. So you guys come back when I get the Spam cubed. I am slicing these into cubed pieces. Nice bite-sized pieces. It'll go on a fork very nicely. I've got a pan ready to go. I think that's good. That looks good to me. Okay, let's put this in this pan. Watch out, this is hot. And I just want to toss these. I have a little bit of butter in the pan. Like I said, if you don't have Spam, you don't keep stuff in your cupboard, use ham. Use leftover ham. Use chicken even would be good for this, but we have Spam and that's what we are using. And you just want to cook it and get a nice glaze on them, get them brown and delicious tasting. 
or your casserole. Harry and I grew up with Spam, didn't we, Harry? Oh, yeah. We used to call it the mystery meat. It's no yep. mystery anymore. They have to put the information on the label. And it, I think Spam has a great flavor. We were raised on Spam. I like getting the low sodium as opposed to the regular because I'd rather add my own Redmond Real Salt than the salt that they use on the meat. That's just me. I'd rather use Redmond Real Salt than the white salt. So I've turned off and drained the cauliflower my spam and in your case if you have ham instead your spam or your meat should be nice and golden in that butter that we had in there i want to uh, look at my cauliflower make sure that the pieces that are frozen are cut small enough i want this to be more of a potato consistency so i just take my scissors in and i want it nice and soft because I want it to be more like an al gratin potato feel and texture in your mouth. So I want the cauliflower a little bit smaller. I don't want it um, grated really finely, but I don't want a huge piece of it, if that makes sense. So that's better. So when, if you're using a real head, a whole head of raw, make sure you cut the florets littler than you normally would because you want it to be, look at this, there, that's what you want. Now, look at my Spam, mm, mm, mm. look at that you guys, and that just gives it, Spam gets a wonderful little glaze on itself, doesn't it Harry, and it's so good, yeah, I like it when you get and it little. browns so nicely, so I'm just going to take this whole thing and I'm just going to transfer it to this pan. The butter and the drippings from it because that's going to give it flavor. Don't be afraid of flavor. Can you hand me a napkin? Or here, I'll get one. I need a napkin, you guys. Just go for it. Uh uh. One piece fell out and I don't want It's too hot. Now, you want us to stir this together. Give it a nice little toss. Look how much you got going in there. Oh man, you guys, that's going to be good. I am excited. Now, I want to put in some of my Alfredo sauce. Let's start with half. Nope, I'm going to do the whole thing. We're going for it. We're going for it. And then I'm going to take cheese. Oh, yeah, eight ounces. We shred our own. Save some for the top. You always got to have some cheese for the top, man. Look at this, you guys. This is going to taste so delicious. You could serve, and I have taken this to church for our buffet. You know, um, what is it where you take a meal, everybody brings one? Yeah. What's that called? Why can't I think? Eating. No. I have taken buffet. it as my meal for buffet, and people that would have stuck their nose up in the air at Spam have eaten this and gone back for seconds because look, even the coloring in there looks like hunks of ham, you guys. It looks like hunks of ham. How easy is that? But wait, there's more because we're going to bake it. We're going to marry all the flavors inside this pan. Now. If you do not or cannot do lactose, make your own homemade cream sauce with butter and the milk of your choice. If you use almond milk or you use um, cashew milk or you use coconut milk and then thicken it and then add it to this. If you can't have the dairy part of the cheese, get your pork rinds out, grind them up and put them on top instead. 
you know you can do an alternative to cheese there's also good if you're not allergic to almonds there's almond cheese out there that they make for vegan and vegetarians that don't eat meat and it's very very good we used to be vegan and vegetarian and we used to eat it all the time it melts looks tastes just like cheese just watch your carbs when you do it make sure you measure it but it will work just as well so I'm going to put this in here. Look, come look at this. You could just serve this just as it is. But we're going to take it one step further and we're going to put it in a casserole dish that I've sprayed. Oh man, you guys. This is going to be like homemade au gratin with ham. Oh, it's going to be so, so delicious. So easy, so simple, so delicious and pretty. Yep, two bags did it. I had a 12 ounce bag and a 16 ounce bag. You probably could get away, well, it depends on what size your pan is. This is an eight by eight. So now you just cover it with your cheese, please. Yes, indeed. Mm -mm -mm. Can you guys taste it? Man, you should smell it. it smells just like El Gratin potatoes with ham, doesn't it, Harry? Yep. Smells like we're having ham for dinner. I'm telling you, just don't tell people what it is and hide the can. Hide the can for those naysayers because it is good, it's delicious, and it's not that expensive. Everything's going up in price. Trust me, this is an easy and it's a keeper. So I'm putting it in the oven at 350 degrees. I'm going to start it at 30 minutes because I want it to marry and I want the top to be melted and bubbling. So we'll come back in 30 minutes and check it out. But now it needs to go into the oven. There we go. When it comes out, we're going to have cauliflower and spam. Al gratin. Yes, indeed. And my wonderful husband's going to bring out the delicious... Her filthy husband. Spam and cauliflower cheesy al gratin. She, He's been washing dishes. She says I look against, filthy. Well, no, you leaned against the counter. And you got water all down your front. And I don't know what that white stuff is, so... Ooh, yeah, man, look at that. That is yeah, man. Look some at the cheese deliciousness on there. right there. Oh, okay, look out. Move out. Okay, move out of the way. We were smart enough to remember to put a pan underneath it, you guys. When you're cooking with the silicon, they're not really strong enough. No. They're wobbly. Oh, wow. And if you have something hot and cheesy like this, I would use a cookie sheet like we did. But look at that. Ho, 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 yeah. That is bubbling goodness at its best. Look at that. It smells so good in here. I am so excited, but you guys need to let this rest now for about 10 minutes. Mm. At least 10 to 15 minutes. It is so hot. You wanna get it cooled down enough because anybody that eats this right now is gonna burn their mouth off. Gonna burn their tongue like when you bite into a cheesy piece of pizza and it burns your mouth. You need to be really careful about this. But you guys, you can serve this by itself, but this is a perfect side dish for pork chops. Oh yeah. Ham. A family dinner, right? Where you're serving the yep. meat and all the stuff, family style. This is a perfect dish for that. And this is super hearty, super delicious. And it's gonna remind you of having a gratin potatoes without the starch. Yes, indeed. So we're gonna let this just rest and relax and cool down so we can come back and do a taste test. Yes, indeed. Okay, everybody, this has been sitting for 10 minutes, cooling down so we can do a taste test. But I want to remind everybody, most of my recipes and casseroles are very user-friendly and they're easy food exchanged as well. 
So if you don't like or you don't have Spam, you can use ham. You can use diced cooked chicken. You can replace the meat of your choice. I'm using what's in my cupboard. I'm using something that needs to be used and I don't want to waste it. Same with cheese. You can use um, your favorite cheese in this dish. We happen to love sharp cheddar cheese. You can use American cheese. You can use Swiss cheese. You can change your cheese up and that will give you a, a different flavor. You also can have half broccoli, half cauliflower. So use this recipe and make it yours. Add some salt and pepper to taste and you have got an easy, wonderful, simple meal that everybody will love. Let me tell you. But come look at this. Come look at this because it's just been sitting here getting firmed up. I miss potatoes au gratin. I really do. And I think that this really takes the place of it very nicely. Oh yeah. Look at this. Uh -uh -uh. Mm. Look at that, you guys. Mm. Doesn't that look so delicious? And it's very hearty and very, very filling. Look at that, you guys. Man, it's hot still. It's been 10 minutes. So, but the look at how the cauliflower resembles hunks of potatoes. And your spam is ham. Anybody asked to say it? It's ham and cheesy al gratin. Yes, indeed. Because what is ham anyway? It's pork. And so is this particular Spam. You can get turkey Spam too. And you guys can even use the Spam of your choice. They have jalapeno. They have um, full fat Spam. They have turkey Spam. So don't be afraid of Spam. Yes, indeed. But let's give this a taste. Go on in. Look at that. Oh, 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 yeah. That is so delicious all on its own or as a side dish. Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Gotta blow it because it's heck of hot. I want to get back from all this. All the, mm. Uh, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Close your eyes. You're eating those potatoes, those creamy, good potatoes with cheese and ham. And oh my gosh, it's cauliflower and spam. But that's not what it tastes like, you guys. Trust me on well, this. Come on, now I want a bite. It's absolutely Stand here explaining it like that. And I'm going to let Harry have a bite. About time. Go ahead, Harry. In all my dirtiness. Don't worry about it. I know, I, I teased him, you guys. So taste it first. No, don't taste it first. Smell it. Look at it. Oh, what does it wow. look like? Looks like looks like El Gratin. I mean, Doesn't know, it? Yeah, it does. Okay, now close your eyes when you taste it because I want you to make sure you have a piece of the Spam and a piece of the cauliflower and cheese. Well, these guys I want see you to see it. Yeah, but I want you to close your eyes and pretend like you're looking for that potato Al Gratin. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's really good. Tastes just like, doesn't it? No, I mean, it's really good. I know it is. Yeah. Would you ever think that Spam, cauliflower, and cheese could no. come out so delicious together? Mm -hmm. Harry doesn't like cauliflower. Oh, wow. Is that good? Mm-hmm. Okay, babe, put it down. You're the cameraman. I know. Anyway, you guys, give it a try because it is very delicious and kids will like it. It's got that cheesy taste oh, yeah. that kids, kids will like it. love. If they love potatoes and cheese and ham, serve them this and that's what they are going to think they are eating. And you know another good thing that would be in this? Add a table or two spoons full of ranch seasoning, right? Ranch dressing yeah. seasoning. Oh yeah, that would be fabulous too. Anyway, you guys, we've got to eat now, so I'm gonna let everybody go. Please remember to like, subscribe, or ring that little bell. Hit the notification bell so you get notified every time one of our videos upload. We do about three a week right now. 
So on this remember, channel, from the other channels every day. Keto Cooking with Wendy. If you guys want to see our other channel, please visit Loving It on Keto, which you guys can see next. Hey, everybody. We'll see you next time. Were you saying goodnight to everybody? She was. She's so cute. Ah! Say goodnight. Ah!